Hello people, welcome to the channel, or well, welcome back. Yeah, just a little update, a little talk and what's coming up on the channel. Uh, so, where should I start? All right, yeah, um, Python's fixed. Um, that was only 11 pounds, UK pounds. Do it, got a pair of uh, wristbones from eBay. One of them to all return, I'm gonna put a, cut, a new battery in my vernier gauge. Uh, so that was that fixed. Didn't take long, 30 minutes work, something like that. I didn't video it. it uh, you know, no point really. You've probably seen loads of videos of that sort of thing. So that was that. Um, let's put a battery in my vernier gauge here. I've got some uh, new things coming up on the channel. So I've got some new things that have came. Uh, speed speed reader and um, a thermometer so I can keep an eye on some temperatures uh, because last time during fraction I'll leave a link below I blew the uh, ESC but I think that was through the rear gearing actually because it had the rear, uh, gearing in the rear dip for the big uh, hoons that go on the back of the penalty because it uh, was a Corvette I left that gearing in, but it just came the ESC. I think that's what it was, anyway. Um, these are handy. You need you need a vernier gauge for any RC work, I think, I believe. Uh, coming handy for lots of things. Uh, a lot of people maybe put, put off, okay, um, by digits. But even if you're not very good at reading or anything like that, you don't need to be with these. You can set it. You can set your shocks. Can you where are you? Uh, yeah, you can set your shocks, anything like that. Lock it. I mean, you know, even if you don't have that measurement or you don't have a measurement in mind, just lock it to that and make sure the other side's the same. So you don't always have to have a number in mind. Unless you're precise in doing precise setups. So that's that. I also use it for um um Droop, how much droop I've got. I'll put it on a flat thing, perfectly flat on a flat surface, and I measure from here to the centre of the wheel, wheel nut. Add up and make sure the other side's the same. Yeah, you can see that. That's how I do that with droop screws. So that's that. Um, yeah. Another thing is. Tie wraps. Don't don't go on eBay and or your model shop and get all your tie wraps from <laughs> you know pay an exorbitant rate for tie wraps. I, I I don't know what in America I think you may have is it Walmart. Over here we've got a big place called Tesco's. It's a huge like superstore. Does everything. Um, and in the hardware section they do these cable ties. And uh, oh they are. These different colour cable ties. You know, all I do is every now and again when I'm up there, I'll grab a box, uh, fill the box I've got it here, here, and then I've got another spare, a spare box for screws and things like that. Yeah, cheap as chips. So I don't go down that, um, uh, you know, the route of eBay and model shop tie wraps and you know places like that supermarkets are ideal for things like that uh, glues tapes all things like that you can get from there I do you, you know you can get the good ones the Gorilla ones uh, all that sort of thing uh, so I bought some pinions from Yeah Racing not promoting a company I uh, don't um, have nothing to do with it, never tried them before, so I'm going to give them a go, different sizes, so we can, what we're going to do is, I'm going to get my buggies, my cars, and have them all um, set up for speed running on grass, maybe, maybe grass, uh, flat surfacing, we're going to read all the data, and we're going to find out how fast they go. 
my son can plug it into his laptop and do, do his magic with a, with, a, with a program you can download. Um, that'd, be, that'd be pretty cool. It's interesting. I want to see how hot the motors get as well and the ESCs. Uh, because it's just interesting for me, I think, and for you guys to look to. So I've got a spare box, full box of cable ties. There you go. There's another box where I use the things. Yeah, right, so I've got these. I've got this. This is a GNSS GNSS uh dash zero fifteen. It's a uh, obviously a global uh navigation satellite um RC speed or if you're flying planes out autum what is it alt altimeter <laughs> what's the word uh altitude that's it so I'm at a top speed average speed and alt altitude uh right it isn't the one with the app like everyone gets and you can read it on the app Reason being I didn't get that one is a couple of reasons. First reason is I'm a twat and I didn't realise. <laughs> the second second reason is because uh, I phone with my iPhone, I video with my iPhone and the Android phone I've got uh, ain't that great. Uh, it loses its just crap. Um, and I, thought, I, can't, I can't rely on it for a reliable signal. Um, so that is one of the reasons why I got this. So this is going to go in every every buggy, every car I've got. It's going to measure the top speed, average speed uh, on flat surfaces, on 4S, 2S, whatever batteries they take. Um, like I say, I've got different pinions to choose uh, from year racing. I've got a load in here as well. I've got a load in there as well, pinions in there. They can go in there as it goes. Now. Um, get them on. We'll get the impaction out. I'm not going to rely on anyone anymore. We're going to buy a rucksack that's big enough for it and do it that way. I've been let down so many times with it. I'm sick and tired of it. So that's what we're going to do there. Just hang me back with that behind you. We've also got this. This is going to be good as well. So I can check temps. Like I say, that's motor, that type of thing. Uh, so there you go, a little temperature gauge. So let's see how warm it is. <laughs> Bad thing it does, eh, Chris? 38, 7, 38. So that's saying 37.9. Let's see if it does a cup. Let's see if it does a cup. So that's 37.4 my cup of tea is. I haven't set this up yet either, so I haven't gone through all the modes or anything like that. So um, I'll put degrees and Fahrenheit on it. 99 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees Celsius. Uh, so I've got to set that up as well. That was quite cheap. Uh, I got that from Amazon. I think it was 16 pounds, UK pounds. Put it up there, but it is in dollars and euros. It's going to be good, that handy. Interesting. This. It's going to be really good as well because my lads can get get all the data off the computer. We can find out how it's revving, how it's taking off. I can adjust everything uh, to suit. Um, and yeah, it's going to be pretty good. So I've got some good. I've got some wicked things planned for the channel now. I mean, I can't afford a car. I haven't got the funds. I can't earn money. <clears throat> I'm a fully qualified car mechanic. A fully qualified carpenter. A uh, general builder, plumber, electrician. The only thing I can't do is uh, brickwork, and I can't earn any money at the moment because I'm still waiting on my finger healing up. Um, 
is better, but it's not there. I can't use it still. I'm having to use this hand to wrench and do whatever. Uh, but it's, you know, that's what's stopping me from getting any money, getting cars. I'm only living on pins at the moment, which is bollocks, but there you go. Here's what it is. It'll get better. It's just time. Python set up per run. See, it's nice and sleek. I've got me, um, both my arms pretty level there. Yeah. I've got a bit of a droop at the front, a bit of a rake on it for when it's taken. We will see, may need more. I think that, that'll do. Got to get the typing ready, the um, infractions ready. Oh, yeah, I've also soldered the connector, Dean's connector, back on the um, rally car. Um, if you remember, I put a um, XT90 plug on uh, picture here somewhere, just for a 4S battery. And then as I was thinking about this and thinking about what I was doing, I was thinking, well, what a twat. Because I actually bought an adapter to go from Dean's to XT90. So then I went and soldered an XT90 connector on there. But then I couldn't use a 2S battery because it had a Dean's connector. And I'm like, you're an idiot. So I soldered that, soldered that back on there. I wasn't happy with the job in the first place, to be fair, on the XT90 connection. I wasn't happy with how I did it. But I've done that one up, but it's much better than factory now. So, uh, yeah, we can test this on 2S as well and 4S. Um, this on 2S against the... Up there, where is it? Against the Kyoto. That'd be not handy to see, wouldn't it? What's quicker? 2S, that one, or 2S on the rally car. That'd be interesting to find out. I think we're going to leave it there, people, because I've been going on a bit. Um, I think that's all I really wanted to say. Going to do the boats as well. Going to see how fast the boats go as well. <laughs> That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, just waiting for the better weather to come, really. And that's it. So I shall see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for everything. Looking forward to seeing this working. I haven't set it up yet because the GPS signal around here is absolute crap. This the area is renowned for it. It's this is you can't even get three G, let alone four G. It's ridiculous. You're lucky you can make a phone call. And I'm not joking. So I'm going to set it up somewhere else. I know where I'm going to go to do that. Do you know what? Let me think about this. Just stick with it a minute. It's got its own power supply, right? So you charge it up, blah, 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 fully charged, get in the car. And you going where you're going, doing your speed runs. And because I haven't got a car, we'll be on the scooters. And if we're out for long, maybe, instance, take a couple of buggies, two rucks hugs. If the battery runs low on this, it's not a problem. It's got a connection there. Let's go to the servo output, or input on here, output on your... Uh, receiver so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, going to get a lead and make a buy a lead or make one um to come out of, come out of each uh, receiver box on each car uh just in case um battery does go flat on this i can use the external power supply the battery on that well, well it will be it come, does come from the battery doesn't it so yeah that's the handy feature i thought it was quite cool so, all right then, people, thanks for joining me. I uh, probably forgot to say something you can think, I don't know, but I'm not going to re-video it. Uh, I think I've said everything. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah, the onboard camera, I've got that uh, sorted now. I have to, <laughs> I have to delete everything, and I have to, um, what's it called, when you restart something, when you, when you restart it, I, I have to, oh, what's it called? When you when you when you when you got a camera, and I have to format it every time I go out. I use it. I have to get data off it, and I have to format it or use it again. Otherwise, it doesn't record. That's why I didn't record on the last one because I didn't format it before I took it out. <laughs> so that that'll be working on the next one. So cheers, everyone. Thanks for subscribing. See you in the next one. Take care. It'll be soon. See you. Ta-da. Bye.